Hello guys, welcome. This is Deepika from mytutorialrack.com and in this tutorial we are going to do another example using the Einstein prediction builder. And if you are using the same Trailhead account which has Einstein prediction builder, then you are also going to see this reservation object and this reservation object has records in it as well. So this reservation object is used to track the reservations at a pizza store. So let's say there is a pizza store in your city and you like to go there and this pizza store is using this reservation table to book the appointments. Okay, so let's first look at the fields of this reservation object. So you have the contact, it's a master detail relationship. And based on that, you have context name, which is nothing but a formula field. And then the created by is your system fields anyway, homeowner, if it's if that particular uh, contact is a homeowner or not, the mailing city, the mailing state and the marital status is he married, divorced, etc. Or is he unmarried? Then you have the occupation, what kind of job that person has, the party size, if there are three people coming to eat the pizza or two people, four people, that's the party size. What is the reservation month? Which month the reservation is for? The reservation number, it is just an auto number field. The time of the reservation, if he is a rewards member or not. And then you have the status, okay? Is that booking upcoming? Is it completed or was it a no-show? That is what the status is. Total reservations means how many reservation under that contact and then total money that person has spent. So these are some of the fields on the reservation object and you probably have the same exact reservation object which tracks the reservation for the pizza store. Now let's go ahead and take a look at all the different records that are there. Okay, so I'm going to go back here and I'm going to go to my data export and I'm going to say select ID from reservation and uh, these are the different fields so i'm going to go ahead and do fields all and we have to put a limit so i won't be able to get the thousand records but i know there are thousand records approximately in this and you can see here you have sorry you have all these records here okay so first is the contact name okay it has a David Cantor. He is a homeowner. He lives in Richmond. And then his mailing state is Virginia. Married is he married? Then occupation is management. 3 November is the reservation month. Reservation time is this much. Rewards member. Yes, and completed status. So all of these are basically the ones which have the. Um, which are either completed or no show there is nothing which is upcoming okay so we will have to create few records where the uh, status is upcoming okay so let's say is there any records with the status of upcoming reservations okay and uh, the answer is i'm going to do id here no so there is no data so what are we going to predict here we have to create those records for which we have to do the prediction okay so right now if you want to see how many records are there so if you see go back to the reservation table here so we'll go over to all reservations and here you can see we have these are the different records I'm going to pin this one and you can see this is the reservation number this is for this contact reservation time is this much status is no show completed party size now if you see here majority of them is either no show or completed so people showed up and people didn't show up either now let's say we create a um, this person dd heffel okay so let's go ahead and create a new appointment and we will it's for the future time okay so i'm going to add some records in here reservation time is for tomorrow let's say at what what time let's say we do it around uh, 1 15 and the contact is this one uh, so we can say this is the contact status is upcoming okay so this is the upcoming one so these are the records for which the einstein prediction builder is going to predict if that particular reservation is going to be fully completed or it's going to be a no show okay so that is one record that we have created similarly we'll create few more records here and uh, you can either give them complete uh, but make sure you leave the status as upcoming okay so those are the records we will use for prediction so the next one i'm going to create new and let's say this is for darlene wilmington so let's say we have darlene wilmington and then let's say the reservation date is for 24th the timing is about uh, 
415. The status is upcoming because this is upcoming reservation. Party size is 2. Hit the save one. Then again, we'll create another reservation here. So we'll create about 10 reservations, okay? And those are the 10 reservations we are going to predict using the Einstein Prediction Builder. Use the contacts that are already there. So that way it's easy and that's where we have this historic data, which will help us to predict the probability of if that reservation will be completed or will that be a no-show. Okay, so now what we're going to do is you're going to add about 10 records, leave the status field as upcoming and book the appointments for the future. Okay, it can be for November, December, whatever it is, but make sure the status is upcoming and through the Einstein prediction builder, we are going to predict it. A quick recap here, if you are using the same Trailhead Einstein uh, Prediction Builder account, then you already have this reservation object which keep track of the reservation at the pizza store, Lee means what all reservations people have made and out of them who were able to complete those reservations or who were no show. So that is what it keeps to track. So through the Einstein Prediction Builder, we can predict the upcoming reservation. Will that be a no show or will it be completed? So if you can predict that, you will know how many people are going to show up for those and also if if there is going to be more probability of no show then you can easily book that slot for another reservation okay so please make sure pause this video and add few more records i would say at least 10 records where which we will use to predict the outcome using the einstein prediction builder okay so i'm going to see you then thank you very much